Howdy, Practical Patriots and Practical Preppers. Y'all will take Rural South Texas. Hey, folks, John Practical Nurse. Yes, I, don't know. I know I don't have my fella on me right now, but hey, let's get through this. A subject that um, I haven't heard many YouTubers talk about when they talk about uh, actually surviving and, and, and having their gear ready. The most important thing that you have ready is your mind and your body. Okay, you need to start with that. We start talking about uh, lightening the load, you know, because I want y'all to think like Cav Scout, you know, Infantry Scout, something like that. So lightening the load needs to start with your body, okay? Now, here's where I'm going to preach to you on this one. You can go back to any of my videos where I first started out, and you can tell I was somewhat of a chunky monkey. I still kind of am, but not bad for 55, okay? I turned 55 this month, you know, but here's where I can preach to this about this, about this subject here. I used to be 200... 45 pounds. When I was in the military, I was 175 pounds. Had that happened? Well, maybe a little bit too much of this. You know, uh, I worked at night shifts at the hospitals a lot to stay awake. I would drink two liters of soda. Okay, two for the caffeine and, and coffee and stuff just to stay awake, you know. Uh, and then I also found out I had a medical problem. Okay, uh, We'll go into that later, okay? And because I need to explain to you the, the couple of steps that I want you to take before you start any weight loss program, okay? First thing I want you to do is if you have a good doctor and trust your doctor, go talk to your doctor first. Make sure that you're healthy enough to start this kind of program, you know, um, and talk to them about serious weight loss. Now, when they start talking about diet and nutrition and stuff like that, I need you to understand that none of the two of us are the same, so each of us are going to react differently. We all have that friend that's a human garbage disposal that can eat anything and never gains a pound. And then there are some of us out there that if I even sniff a brisket, <laughs> you know, I get 10 pounds. So uh, first of all, go talk to your doctor and make sure that they talk about a sensible weight loss program uh, that includes diet and exercise and uh, stop it right there, okay? Here's why. There are folks, I'm going to sit there and say this and just very be very plain and basic about this. There are a lot of doctors out there that's more than willing to write you a prescription for weight loss. It's legal, but what are they doing? Are they teaching you anything? Are they teaching you about discipline when it comes to eating and exercise? No. Because we've become a society of swallow a pill and feel better, okay? Don't let them do that to you, okay? Don't let them do that to you because, you know, I, I can list lots of reasons, uh, but the basic one is you're not learning something from this from this situation. Um, there are a lot of medications out there that are diet suppressants that you can go to any store out there and find these over-the-counter things. And I want to tell you this, don't do it. Don't do it because, like I said, you're not learning anything from it, Okay. It becomes a matter of discipline. And the next thing I want you to do after you go see a doctor that you trust, okay, and make them promise they're not going to put you on any diet suppressants or anything because that's just a money-making machine. And maybe we'll talk about that later, but, you know, question, put it down below. I'll explain it to you. The next thing I want you to do, folks, is if you have like a, an HSA, a health savings account or something like that, I want you to go get three lab values, okay? I want you to get something called a basic metabolic panel. A, a complete blood count, and I want you to get something called a thyroid stimulating hormone count, TSH level. All right, here's why. One of the reasons that I got up to 245 pounds is because I did not know that I had hypothyroidism, which causes a few problems, you know, uh, skin problems, insomnia, w it, massive weight gain, even this beautiful hair, y'all. Okay, and I just came in from my ex for my workout, so <laughs> I was actually losing plugs larger than a silver dollar at a time. I could lift up part of my hair and there would be a bald spot. Started out with my chin and, you know, I, you know, spouse said, well, you know, you probably just nicked yourself shaving. All uh, right. Okay. That wasn't it. But anyway, folks, I uh, want you to get the basic metal bottle panel because that will tell you where your blood sugar is, uh, a lot of your electrolytes, uh, complete blood count, mostly to see if you're anemic. You know, and the TSH to see if you're if you're normal uh, or hyper or hypothyroid. Hi, Buddha. How are you? You went in on the shot? Okay, cats, they're homicidal maniacs, and we'll get into that later. <laughs> and they're loving, aren't they? But uh, I want you to get those three things done. Uh, you can go to uh, basic any what I call lab in a standalone box. Like uh, one of my like is uh, any lab test now. They're really awesome people, and you can download. Psst, you go to their site. You can download the coupon. Okay and save yourself some bucks. Um, 
If you're a lot of uh, insurance uh, plans do have that as part of your well health to get these kind of labs drawn. The reason I insist you do this is because the doctor I had at the time, I was going to them with the symptoms. Okay, I'm doc, I'm losing my hair, I'm putting on this weight, I'm tired all the time, I feel like I'm dragging an anchor. And his his response to me, I, I sit there and say, I'm, I'm chopping oak, I'm doing as much exercise as I can. And his thing was, put another log on. You're just getting fat, old, and lazy. That's your problem. Okay? That's what the doctor said to me. And I'm going to tell you all something. I want you to wake up. Your doctor needs to listen to you. Okay? Do you go to a car dealership and 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 get a, get a, a salesman that doesn't listen to you? No, you don't. You find another salesman, right? Same goes with your PCP, your doctor. If they're not listening to you, there's nothing wrong with picking another one. They may harass you, and I'm sorry, but they will sometimes. You know, they'll harass you and blah, 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 and da, 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 you know, but if they're not listening to you, get another doctor. That's my PSA for the day. All right, so I want you to get those lab tests done. I want you to go see your doctor, and then we need to start talking about it after that. Now, I'm going to include a link that has a little calculator in this video, all right? that basically it asks you your gender, your age, and your current weight. And please be honest because it will tell you exactly how many calories you need. Now, I will sit there and tell you that probably any middle-aged adult needs about 1,800 calories a day. If you drop below 2,000, chances are you're going to be losing a pound. Now, do you want to lose this weight fast? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You do not want to trick your mind into thinking you're starving because then you're not going to lose anything at all. Again, folks, I will sit there and argue this point. Obesity does not always relate to overeating. Okay, there's a lot of factors that can cause it, but you need to go talk to your doctor and you need to also, also go get those three lab tests done. Okay, basic metabolic panel, a CBC, a complete blood count, and a TSH, a thyroid stimulating hormone. Okay, that's your start right there. And then you start need to talk about diet and nutrition. Okay, uh, I'm going to say that I probably take in about 1800 calories. I'm down to 185 pounds, which is about 10 pounds about where I was in my military days. Not bad, okay, from 245 pounds, okay, 245 pounds. Now, where do we go from here? Well, I'm going to open this up for questions and comments, and I'll start talking to you about a, a pretty good diet plan. And again, talk to your doctor about that. Uh, start looking up about where you need to be and start counting those calories. Now, I'm not saying you have to deny yourself of everything, but there's a couple of things that I cut out in my life. You remember those two liters of soda I told you about that I used to drink at night to stay awake? I don't do that anymore, okay? I've also got on a prescription medication, Synthroid, to help with my dead thyroid, okay? And I have to get annual checkups on that. Uh, but again, folks, questions, comments, leave them below. There's your start right there, okay? If you want to drop the pounds and, and, you know, and get in a healthier lifestyle, start with that right there. When we talk about lightening your load, uh, I was just out. My, my workout for today was not only just taking care of my animals on the farm and cleaning up the chicken house, which, is, by the way, is good cardio. I went out for a walk on the highway near where I live. Now, walking, good exercise. But how did I up the ante? I was wearing my armor plates, and I may show you a little snippet here in a little bit about me doing that, okay? I was wearing my armor plates, my level 3 armor plates with three mags, my IFAT kit, uh, the bayonet, you know. So anyway, let me see if I can just give you a little short brief on that here, okay? But, but, stay tuned, folks. I want to help you out as much as I can, okay? But I do not want you to fall into that weight loss trap. It is a billion dollar money-making racket, okay? But I'm going to be upfront, honest, and practical with you, okay? So weight, rapid weight loss has problems, okay? Please see your doctor. Please get those lab tests. Until I see you all again, I'm Giant Practical Nurse. Questions, comments, leave them below. Out here. So I just want to show you this real quick, folks. Uh, I'm about to ready to go on my walk. And uh, I've been out here working on my little farm, doing my farm chores. And that's the first part of my work, my daily workout. And then after that, I try to get some walking in and doing a few other things, you know. Uh, but one of the things I want to show you is I'm about to go walking. I live close to a highway and I'm about to go walking with my armor plate on, plates on, okay. And, you know, I'm going to try to scoot this thing back a little bit. Got my, got, I'm trading this mag pouch out. Uh, it's good. I'm going to probably either do a giveaway, you know. And just kind of give it to one of y'all. Uh, it's not one that I'm very fond of at this point for different reasons. Uh, I just wanted to change my setup. And trust me, you will be changing your setup. Okay, <laughs> over time, you find out what works and what doesn't work. And you kind of trade out with buddies and stuff like that. Because if they don't have one, be generous and give them your old gear. Trade out stuff, okay? I got my rather large iFat kit on me. And again, folks, this is probably not the best plate carry there is. But 
it will do the trick. It will it will work. Okay. Um, again, we talk about uh, lightening your load and everything. Starting off with you know with starting out with you for starters, and then uh, working on your gear. And because you know you may have to move quick, you may have to be able to grab something within how much time? Three minutes. Okay, three minutes and get on the road. Just all depends on what happens, folks. And um, we'll just kind of leave it at that right now. This segment I'm going to start doing. Uh, will be on basically lightening your load and uh, just going about to take my walk out here. It's a beautiful day too. I love this kind of weather. Uh, my mom said it was the German in me. <laughs> While she preferred desert type environment, I for some reason love this kind of weather. It's not blistering hot. It's not cold. Uh, to me, it's just perfect. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm about to head on with my walk. And folks, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. I'll start pegging these things together so y'all can see them. Okay. Until I see y'all again, Johnny Practical Nurse. I'm out here.